Hi vlog, welcome back. I'm on my way to go and get lunch with a friend. I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever. I have noticed that whenever I start my luteal phase of my menstrual cycle, I just like want to be by myself. I don't wanna film, I don't wanna really like talk to anybody besides my dogs and, um, and Michael. And then I start my period and I'm actually fine. Like I actually feel like emotionally good, which is really interesting. It's always like the week, the, like two weeks before my period. That's like the worst for me. Um, and I get like really sad and I don't know. So I just like don't ever feel like filming during those times. But today I just started my period and I actually feel really good. And I was like excited to film today. And so I always want to create content when I'm excited to do it otherwise it's just not gonna come off authentic I'm, I feel like I'm just like faking everything and I just don't like the way that feels I don't post all the time because of that at least you know that when I do it's all very authentic so there's that um, anyways I'm so excited I'm gonna be showing you around my house um, we have a meeting with our builder tomorrow, but I'm gonna go and see Cashew. I also have a lesson with him tomorrow, but I've been watching this horse show called um, Wildfire. I think it's called Wildfire. And every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, I miss my horse. I miss Cashew. So I'm probably gonna go out there today. bed at like 4 p.m. <laughs> I have a confession to make. I hurt my car. I was driving out of Waldo's, okay? Waldo's chicken. And it was nighttime. And my front tire like rolls over or like goes around like the, the curb. And then my back tire d somehow drives over the retaining wall. And when it drove over the retaining wall and it came back down, it like slammed on the back part of the bumper and like pushed it up. It's like so bad to where like I can't even really open like the back trunk anymore. Um, but I just got a quote for it and it's actually not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. I'm just so mad at myself. I'm like, I've never gotten a car crash. I've never done anything like this before. I've been pulled over maybe once when I was like 16. And that's it. And so I'm like just super disappointed. I'm like, I look so dumb right now. I was literally a ball that was chicken and rolled over the freaking retaining wall. And so it's definitely Waldo's fault. Waldo's, you should like take down that retaining wall. <laughs> just kidding, guys. I should have been paying attention better. And just know I'm gonna be so careful in that car now because I'm so mad at myself. Do you wanna go see it? Okay, look at her. The bumper is all pushed up and like I can't even open this as you see I like I tried and it kind of like scraped it and then uh, the bottom part of the bumper is kind of coming off but the good news is I have the appointment while I'm in Canada so hopefully by the time I get back it'll be done.
quite a busy day today. I have to go to Michael and I's personal home renovation for a big meeting for all of the electrical and the lighting. So we're gonna choose like where we want certain sconces, where we want cam lighting. I am just so weird. I like hate overhead cam lighting like so much. I just, I would rather have my flashlight on than have overhead lights. So we're like trying to strategically plan out where all the sconces and it's kind of funny because Michael is so sick of me saying, oh, sconce here, sconce there, that he almost like, he's just over it he hates sconces thankfully that's the only disagreement michael and i have had about the house other than that like our styles are pretty much the same like we both really love like an earthy indoor outdoor but also like really homey and calm so i'm gonna go and meet him at our house and then i need to go to ulta to pick up a few things before i leave for canada and then i wanted to go to the market and get some fresh fruit i have been trying to go to all of our local markets especially while these like fruits and veggies are in season and i just really want to support them local farmers also tend to use a lot more natural organic ways of farming compared to all the like these really big farms that are owned by these giant companies um and so there's just a lot more trustworthiness when it comes to buying local so i'm gonna go and do that I also, what else did I have to do? I have to pack and we're leaving for like two and a half weeks. So I have to have my, my bag has to be under 50 pounds. I don't know how I'm going to do this. So yeah, that's the plan for today. So my earrings are from Cecily Kashi. It's from like the, literally one of the prettiest girls on Instagram. Her name is like Amanda Kamakau. I have no idea how to say it. I probably just butchered that. But she has a brand called Cecilia Kakashi, I think. But they're really cute. I love them. this cute little box for my cousin it's gonna be her birthday while I'm gone and so I wanted to just like make her this cute box her and I really connect over fall like it's one thing that we both really love we look forward to every single year the minute it turns August we're like it's fall so I made a little fall basket for her I got her this cute whisk from anthropology look at the cute design Oh my gosh, I'm so, I wanted to buy one for myself. I was like, oh, this is so cute. I really hope she hasn't gotten any of this stuff yet because I know she was saying that she like wanted to go fall shopping. So I really hope she doesn't have any of this stuff. Um, and then I got her these really cute um, mittens, little oven mitts. I got her these cute clips. Uh, they were just like so adorable in all like fall colors. Got her this um, enchanting espresso martini. Smells like a brood awakening coffee, liquor, and clove from Anthropology. Smells so good. So good. And then I also got her the pumpkin clove candle from Anthropology as well. This scent is probably my favorite i spent a good like 30 minutes just smelling all of them and those i think are the vibe oh yeah i got her this um blanket from pottery barn it's super soft 
and I just thought it was cute. I wanted to like kind of place all these in there and then put the blanket on top, you know, that kind of vibe. And then this basket is also from Pottery Barn. Last thing, I also got her this cute little coffee mug. I mean, stop, he's so cute. I'm obsessed with him, just obsessed with him. looking forward to this moment all day just putting on some comfy clothes and yeah I'm not looking forward to the packing but the fact that I feel cozy makes packing just a little bit better um I don't know what the weather is going to be like in Vancouver but I do know we're going to be like hiking and doing just a bunch of like chill things um nothing too fancy planned so I'm just gonna pack my bag I always look on Pinterest for like outfits. I'm like, ooh, that would be cute. So I'm gonna look up my little mood board for Vancouver. I don't know. I'm a little weirdo and I literally plan out every single month or like every season and I write a little theme for it. And I wrote like, you know, I don't know, even if it's like certain fruits, certain colors, like just certain vibes and I write it all on a list. And then I try and kind of live that month according to that theme. And I've honestly just had so much fun with it. And so I'm gonna look back at my theme for my Vancouver packing, cause I did add that in there and go from there. I don't know why, does anybody else do that? It just like makes life so much more fun. And I just have such a love for creating like an aesthetic vibe, just creating a moment. I always have ever since I was little. And I think that's why I love designing the home so much. So. Anyways, I'm gonna go and pack my bags. I'm gonna hug Cornet for moral support because I have so much to pack and it all has to be under 50 pounds. I don't know how I'm gonna get it under 50 pounds. Two weeks. I'm packing a pair of my favorite pants ever. I'm so excited to wear these. They're like these vintage um, Columbia hiking pants. They're so cute. And then I have a few sweatpants underneath and a nice fluffy fuzzy crew neck. And then I have a ton of tank tops packed right here. I'm also going to be packing some jeans packing some little just cute comfy shorts 